Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about skin types. Are you guys ready? I'm sure you guys have been watching videos of me and you're like, girl, I don't even know what skin type I have. Talking about dry skin, oily skin. What is my skin type, girl? So I decided to break it down really simply and talk to you guys about skin types and how you can know what type of skin type you have. So there are four types of skin type, normal skin, dry skin, oily skin, and combination skin. Now normal skin, as the name suggests, is neither too oily or too dry. It's the type of skin that the sebum and moisture production is well balanced. Now the chin, nose, and the forehead area might be a bit oily, but overall everything is pretty much balanced. Some ways to identify normal skin is by fine pores, good blood circulation, a velvety, soft, and smooth skin texture, a skin with no blemishes. It's important to know that the older you get, even though you have normal skin, you might end up getting drier skin just because the older you get, your body and more specifically your dermal layer of your skin stops producing the normal amounts of sebum, hyaluronic acid, elastin, and collagen. So it will show up on your skin as drier skin. Which leads us to the next skin type, which is dry skin. So dry skin is used to describe a type of skin that produces less sebum than normal skin. So as a result of this lack of sebum, dry skin lacks the lipids that it needs to retain moisture in the skin and build a protective shield over the skin. There are several causes of dry skin, but the most common ones is through perspiration, which is pretty much the active water loss through heat or stress or activity like working out in the gym. Trans epidermal water loss, which is the natural passive way that our skin diffuses about half a liter of water a day by the deeper layers of our skin. There are different ways to identify dry skin. These include mild scaling or freak flakiness or patches, a rough and blotchy appearance, a feeling of tightness and possible itchiness on the skin. Now there are certain areas of the body that are more prone to dry skin, which are the hands, the feet, and the elbows. In those areas, you might experience extreme roughness, chapping with a tendency of cracking, calluses, scaling, and even frequent itchiness. Oily skin. Now, as the name suggests, is a skin that produces excess sebum, and overproduction of sebum is known as soborrhea. I hope I said that right. A number of things can trigger a person to have oily skin. These include but are not limited to genetics, hormonal changes and imbalances, medication, stress, and comedogenic cosmetics. Oily skin is characterized by enlarged pores, a glossy appearance, thicker, pale skin, and blood vessels might not be visible in the skin type. Oily skin is very prone to comedones such as blackheads and whiteheads. Usually acne and oily skin will appear on the T-zone, which is the forehead, the nose, and the chin and sometimes just around the jaw area. Now lastly, combination skin. Now as the name suggests, combination skin is when you have both skin types. So combination skin pretty much means you have dry and oily skin. This is actually the skin type that I have. My combination skin, which is in most cases is what it is, is you have dry skin on your chin area and then you have oily skin on your T-zone area. So again, your forehead, your chin, your nose, and sometimes down your jawline. And obviously the oilier part of your skin means there's an overproduction of sebum in those areas and the opposite for where it's drier. I hope this video has helped you identify what kind of skin type you have. Now, Ultimately, you would want to see a dermatologist to help you understand better the way your skin is. Just because you think your skin matches some of the definitions I gave for each of the skin types doesn't mean that's what your skin is. Please see a dermatologist or a skin expert, such as an esthetician, to evaluate your skin and tell you better what skin type you might have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you liked it. It really helps me out and lets me know what kind of videos you guys like to see here. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!